Alright, this is a little experiment that I did um, to try to show how the water works. Um, the board is eight foot long, one foot wide. I use this board uh, as a level field, a level plane. And the little red thing at the end of my board is a little piece of plastic. Um, but the whole purpose of this is to show how uh, waves can actually hide, um, you know, a boat. Uh, we know that we have waves and swells out on the ocean. And these waves and swells can um, actually hide most of your boat. Now, we do have... Uh, uh, refraction, defraction, um, mirages, uh, heat wave, all that stuff that also uh, interferes with what we actually see. Um, so I did this to, um, you know, the red thing here at the end is what represents my boat. And the wires are going to represent the waves. And we know the farther out you go in the ocean, sometimes it gets very wavy and big swells um, if you ever been out on a big ass boat way out in the water um, you'll find this out that this is true um, at times you know if you're in these big swells one minute you cannot see anything and nothing but waves and then the next thing you know you're popped up on top of this swell and you can see quite a ways um, but you know these big ships they don't ride up and down like a regular boat um, they're not going to come right to the top of the swell. Uh, plus, too, you got angular resolution that plays a big role in this. And I will put a link in my um, in the description to where you can find uh, uh, Curious Life of a Flat Earther's uh, uh, video on uh, angular resolution. So what I'm doing is by raising my camera up and down on this plane... Um, you can see how these waves will interfere with me viewing the object, which in my case, it's my fake boat. Um, now, I, in this video, I cut little pieces of it out, you know, parts that were blurry and whatnot, but I, I left most of it in there. Um, but, you know, we, we always have this, uh, uh, this illusion that goes on when we're viewing something out in the ocean. It says this boat's going over the curvature of Earth. Is it the curvature of Earth or is it just an illusion of a curvature of Earth? I say it's an illusion of the curvature of Earth. So to prove this, um, I've got this board. Now this board is a little bowed in the middle. So it's a little bit of a banana. So it's, it's to the advantage of the boat um, that it's the banana shape. Um, so the boat's actually sitting up higher at the end than it is at the beginning, um, or the wires are in the middle where they're not really right up on the edge of the, the boat, or in this case, the piece of plastic. But you'll notice as I lower my camera, um, how even the focus gets out of focus and you get some, uh, refraction, defraction going on. And that kind of, uh, um, you know, makes you lose some of your vision. So the angular resolution is uh, disguised um, or your vision is disguised. Um, I'm not sure which words I should put in this. But, uh, you know, more you watch this video, you can understand where I'm going with it. I want to find out if these waves that are up closer to me um, or even farther out is blocking out the ship um, and I have a reason to because I've got some ships um, that I videotaped and you can definitely see how this can work um, so this is part two to a three-part series because I have the the bigger ship at the end in um, the third part I'm gonna put that one on but I do have a cruise ship on this one also so, the whole purpose of this is to give you an idea of what you are looking at when you look out across the water. And also this angular resolution. My dog walks in front of me. Um, you'll see my dogs in this video. 
a um, couple of them. Well, I think all three of them are in here. I have three dogs. Uh, very one's very big. The the other two are uh, average size. I call average. Um, but anyhow, getting back to this, um, you'll notice uh, how our angular resolution does change the ship and it does make the ship appear to be sinking so the farther that ship gets out on the water the more the waves and the swells are going to block this ship out the bottom hull or even the whole ship so um, I left some of my um, you know when I talk in the video I left some of that on here and then some I deleted out the audio so I could talk and, and try to explain what I'm doing here so here shortly you're gonna hear me talking in the video uh, but right now um, I, I wanted to try to explain what the whole purpose of this experiment was um, angular resolution um, you know you have mirage uh, which mirage is derived from the word mirror. So if you're not familiar with the word mirage, go and look and see where it derived from. It derived from the word mirror. And that's what we get. We get a lot of mirroring out on the water when we're out on the water. And you see that in some of my videos, especially my boat videos, where you can see the mirroring of the boat underneath the boat. So that is a mirror image of the boat. So um, I'm going to let my um, video take over here and talk and in between I will be changing it and you'll hear me break in here and talk again. Uh, but right now I'm going to let it go to the normal voicing. Trying to keep that level best as I can to the board. And this tripod ain't working worth a shit either here a little bit. Now I'm all out of focus. Here we go. You start seeing. The boat sink. The boat is sinking. How you like it? That's good. With the gas card. And then helping out medical records. Come to find out it's just one lady back there, so. Again. It'll be full time, time. Not too before long. You know, Timmy, I really don't know why people don't realize this. What? How stupid we've been. I mean, to really believe that we live on this spinning ball, spinning at a thousand miles an hour. People are stupid, I'm a lot more than just that. When we have, I mean, we've been programmed not to use our own damn brains. Because, I mean, this is pretty obvious, the higher up I go, I mean, and this is just a short little distance, the more of the plane I can see. So, obviously, the boat is sitting flat on the board, but, again, as I lower my angle down, all these waves, or in my case, my little wires that I put out here, start to hide the boat, hide my boat, look at that. And you can see some refraction going on there. Uh -oh. 
kind of like some miraging yeah it gets kind of out of focus a little bit but I can fix that even though my camera goes out of focus here and there you can obviously see the blockage that you're getting on the object in the background um, so even here where I get into focus on the object in the background you can obviously see that it's being blocked out um, I'm having a hard time with this particular um, tripod that I have it's just a manual one um, I had a hard time uh, getting the height right with my other one so um, it stuck up too high and I couldn't get it down low enough so um, you know I did this with a different tripod one with a crank handle too to where I could crank the the camera up and down and my better tripod actually doesn't have that but you can see here as I pull these wires out of the way how the boat comes back into view or in this case the piece of plastic um, resembling my boat all right um, I'm gonna go back to uh, let me speak for myself in the video I know this is gonna be a long video some people might say it's boring but if you ask me it's very educational so sit back relax enjoy it and give me your comments when it's all said and done now my little wires I don't think are doing a whole heck of a lot. Too flat there. Well, I actually, I think uh, my wires are being blended in here. Well, I, I noticed something too when I was videotaping the boats. The telephone wires I was actually seeing through. Well, the telephone wires went out of focus, but it allowed me to see right through them, which is weird. But I wish my focus was a little bit better on here. I might have to do it a little bit. Well, I'm going to do this in the water, too. Oh, what rain? That's going that way. Yeah, I went up and picked Dallas up high. Oh, you picked up Dallas? Yeah. Why is nobody listening to me? What? Because they called me. Granted, yeah, I was working, but I couldn't. Left by 1.30 to pick her up. Yeah. Which is what I pretty much almost did, was left around 1.30. Again, I'm going to crank it up here. I said, I'll have time. She might have to stand around for five minutes. You got to see nice and first hand how fucking kids dry. Come on. Here, focus. Here we go. Pretty level right there. I'm gonna get it right. Right there. Pretty level to me. You can see the front little piece sticking up up there. Let's see what happens if, uh, if the waves are closer, bigger waves, are closer. Right. Well, I'm actually seeing through that piece of wire.
call me some bananas. See with that. <laughs> All right. Oh, I won't. <laughs> yeah, I put uh, these ain't even as big as that that board or that piece of plastic back there. But we're gonna lay the five strand or eight strand down, whichever that is. kind of hard to do this because I'm actually uh, a piece of wire is going out of focus and it's allowing me to kind of see through it let's go back further and, and try this oh, nice walk back farther <clears throat> maybe I won't get so much of the blaring and maybe I can focus in on it better okay and crank my my tripod up it's only going up about a foot Obviously, see my little makeshift boat. Boom, there it is. Look at that. Now, we're going to bring it down even with the board. Dirty with it, it being jacked up on this thing. Even the glare of the board. Blocking out the boat. The refraction does have something to do with it. Now you see how that my ship is sinking. Due to just a little wire in front of it. had two people helping with this experiment so you can see how these little items or objects or waves I want to make out as these wires that I'm laying across there are like waves and while you're we're zooming we're going to zoom in a little bit here so you can see how my boat, the lower end, my hull, is being blocked out by a wave. Now imagine if I had a 60-foot board <coughs> doing this experiment with, how much more of the boat I would lose.
Okay, I hope you're getting my drift here and how this angular resolution and the waves can definitely block out the bottom hull of the boat. I mean, this just goes to prove that this is a small scale, but on a big scale, a bigger scale. And like I said, too, if you had me a 60 foot board, this wire may just block out the whole object. Um, which I'm pretty sure it would. Um, this board's only eight foot long, so you know another 52 feet of board, and this object would just totally disappear behind this wire. Um, and you know, I was going to make this a little experiment a little bit shorter, but I, I thought it was good to go through it and, and show you exactly how I was doing it and why I was doing it, and you know let you see exactly what was going on and in the video and see how the focus in and out of focus would uh, obscure the the object um, so I'm leaving it up to the viewer to you know make their own decision up on what they're actually seeing and this is uh, reproducible you can do this yourself um, simple it's a very simple process and this gives you a different perspective of watching a boat sail out over the seas um, you know, I watched the boat sell out over the sea, and yes, it does appear to, um, you know, disappear over the horizon. But this is not what is going on, because you'll see in my actual footage of this cruise ship um, how this works. So, you know, check it out. Um, the cruise ship's coming up, and there's some other things in, in, in this video that I will... Um, show you what's going on or tell you what's going on now I did speed these up so they are sped up uh, three times faster um, so you wouldn't have to sit here and watch three hours of video so you can slow this um, video down and or speed it up slow it down um, in your settings on your YouTube channel um, so try that um, see how you how you like it and if you want to slow it down slow it down um, but right now I sped it up again so you wouldn't have to sit here and wait and watch you know for hours um, I tried to make this short and simple now this cruise ship is just coming out of the port or the channel where it comes out of and I caught it and you can see a lighthouse and that lighthouse has to be quite a ways from me um, because I am zoomed out quite a ways um, but you can see how this cruise ship almost covers the entire um, you know lighthouse so it, it's actually blocking out the whole shoreline um, and that's perspective okay um, you know we can all speculate on um, you know the stars and everything but um, you know when you're viewing something it's perspective it's the viewers perspective of what they see so as we go through this and eh, come on get back into focus here get back on the boat I could have cut that out another thing I did was I zoomed in on some of these buoys out there too and you can watch these buoys bounce up and down um, and have the lower half go in and out of your vision so <laughs> You know, it's the same thing with a boat. The farther you go out, um, these waves, these swells are eating up the bottom end of your boat. I'm going to let you watch and uh, observe because uh, observation is really, really something that most people don't do. They don't go out and observe their surroundings. And that's my whole thing. Um, I once I got into this flat earth, I really started observing things and seeing what makes sense to me, what don't make sense to me, um, and being on a ball, spinning at a thousand miles an hour, flying through space, twisting, twirling, spinning, um, all that good stuff, um, just does not make sense to me. Living on a flat plane. 
um, and objects just go farther out in the distance. As an object gets farther out in the distance, the object actually gets smaller and smaller. And we, we can definitely see this um, anytime we view an object going away from us. It gets smaller, and if you view that object coming back at you, it just gets larger and larger. And the closer it gets to you, the more visibility you get of it. Now, with these zoom cameras, where we can zoom in and out, um, really gives you a different perspective of where we're living. So, if we're living on this ball, spinning at buco miles an hour, um, you know, traveling through space, chasing the sun through the Milky Way galaxy at damn near light speed, it just doesn't make sense. Um, so, you know, as we... Uh, as we uh, you know go through life with this uh, deception that has been placed upon us through even our education system if they tell you that you evolved from a monkey do you believe them because I don't I, I don't believe I evolved from a monkey I am a man and if I evolved from a monkey why are there still monkeys on this earth okay we should all, all the monkeys should have turned into people. If not, you know, people like us, then they should have turned into some other kind of people. So, you know, where does the government get off on regulating, um, you know, saying, saying that we're coming from monkeys? I just don't understand it, and I probably never will understand how they can try to even put that off on us. Um, you know, most people will believe this, um, and I, I'm not buying it. Uh, there's a lot of things I don't buy in this world today, only because I'm seeing through the deception. Um, there's deceivers out there that will deceive you. They will tell you that they're putting out videos, um, you know, of the stars and the space shuttle and ISS and and all of this and that's just a deception that's just to get you to believe uh, when you can go out and confirm it for yourself and see it with your own two eyes and uh, you know ex experience the situation yourself then how how, how in the world can we uh, um, believe this stuff um, I, I'm not into believing anything anymore um, I, I think there's so much deception in this world, um, even within religion, and I'm not going to go into the religious part, um, you know, because that, that offends people, and when you offend people with their religious beliefs, um, they get upset and angry, just as the people get upset and angry when you try to explain to them that you're living on a flat plane, and we are the center of the universe, we are. What the creator put us here for we everything that's above us he created for us to view not for the scientists to go out there and deceive you by telling you that these planets these stars or other suns and they're billions and billions and light years away um, that's just absolute bullcrap number one how do they know how far away these objects are I mean you know, they say they got satellites that are going up there and, and orbiting these planets. I say that's bullcrap. They show you a satellite in space, and basically it's a picture of a CGI, it's a CGI image of a satellite. Because you always have to ask yourself, who took that picture? Nobody took the picture. It was all computer graphics, um, you know, put out there to deceive you. Um, so if you yourself like to be deceived all the time go ahead and still believe in it um, myself I, I I was disappointed too myself because be, before I got into my reality I always looked at uh, you know like Star Wars Battlestar Galactica boy I was all into all that space stuff uh, watching the Hubble telescope pictures of the Hubble telescope that they put out um, you know, and I was just in awe. My imagination ran wild. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, this is something wonderful. You know, just imagine going out into these areas ourselves and exploring, you know, like Star Trek, you know. Um, 
we're, we're going to go out and explore the universe. <laughs> Space may be the final frontier, but it is made in a Hollywood basement. That's for sure, because most of everything you see that's out in space is computer graphics. Um, you know, is there satellites out there? I, I think there is satellites uh, floating on balloons. Um, now look at, look at that buoy marker going up and down. Okay, in and out of uh, view, the whole lower end of it. And the farther you get out, um, the more these uh, buoy markers will be out of your sight, out of your line of vision. Um, and that's because of this angular resolution. Well, let's get back to, uh, you know, these satellites. Um, they tell you that they're sending up these satellites on, you know, $8 million rockets, you know. Uh, 800 million dollar rockets the one that I saw over here in Cape Canaveral or well I was in Cocoa Beach but watched it come up um, it immediately you know shot out uh, into the Atlantic actually it looked like it went north of me um, the angle that it seemed to go on but, but it was uh, definitely going out over the Atlantic um, and that made this turn very quickly now my whole thing is to get from point A to point B is a straight line. Now they're telling you that they can fold space and, and, and poke a hole through a piece of paper and you can get from one end to the other instantaneously. Well, that's just somebody's theory. I mean, the theory of space travel, uh, being able to get from one place to another, it's all, you know, <laughs> speculation. It's all a theory. So when people start buying theories as truth, um, their whole mind is warped. Um, the theory of gravity. Uh, I mean, they tell you it's this invisible force and that's what holds everything to the ground. That's what holds the water on the spinning ball. I mean, my goodness, if it's spinning at a thousand miles an hour, can you imagine the centripetal force that's being, uh, you know, uh, put on this water It'd be spitting off, but they, they, oh no, the gravity is so strong it can hold this water on, you know, on, on, on the, on the surface of Earth. Uh, and, you know, my idea is, is uh, water will find its own level, and that's why they call it sea level. Sea level. It's, sea level is level for a reason. Yes, you have waves. What creates the waves? The winds. Maybe the moon, the moon's, uh, you know, static electricity pulls on it, pushes on it. Uh, maybe the, the moon pulls on it and the sun pushes on it. So I'm definitely not a scientist, but you could say I'm an observer. And observational science is uh, a big portion of science. Because if you can't observe it, then you can't see it pretty much, right? So we're observing it right here in my videos. But these boats... Are just going farther away and as they get farther away they get smaller and smaller and when it gets smaller these waves that are out in front of it are going to bow up and block it especially the swells um, I've been in some big waves um, in, a, in a small boat and oh my goodness you know uh, you're at the bottom end of that swell and it's scary because you know, all you see on both sides of you in front of you and behind you is another big wave um, so these swells can definitely hide a boat with no problem, especially the, the smaller boat that I was on. And if you were standing on the shore and trying to view us, one minute we'd be there, the next minute we'd be gone. But these big cruise ships, uh, they, they don't bounce up and down on these swells like uh, um, these smaller boats do. So, uh, again, you know, you believe what you want to believe, but... I suggest that, uh, you know, you take into consideration what you see, um, you can confirm. Now, they tell you don't believe in your eyes when you um, read the definition of mirage. They tell you don't believe what your eyes see. I'm telling you, believe what your eyes see. Um, you know, you don't, you don't see any uh, mirages going on here. Um, you know, these, these are actually boats in the water. Um, it's not an illusion. This is a big cruise ship. And look, it's way out there. It's way out there. And it's still visible. Now, one of the good things about this video was I did it toward the evening time. So, it didn't have the big glare of light on it. 
um, and, and it was a little bit of overcast. I mean, it wasn't total overcast, but it, there was a, quite a few clouds in the sky, and um, you know, this stopped the light from really beaming on the boat and creating another issue. So, you know, um, I have a hard time continuing talking, but I wanted to fill this spot up because I just didn't want to leave it blank and open. But, uh, you know, wait till I get to this one spot here and you'll see that, uh, um, you know, you'll, you'll see this boat, this smaller boat come out and, uh, you can see that the smaller boat, what kind of waves and whatnot it takes, and you can tell how uh, much swells and how many wave, how much waves are out there, and how big these waves actually are. You know, right now you don't realize it, but look at that buoy marker bouncing up and down. One minute you see it, next minute you don't. The bottom end of it, anyhow. So, again, you know, it's perspective. Uh, when we watch something get out from our vision um, now I do believe I do zoom back so you can see how far the ship is actually out there and you know when I zoom back out or zoom away from it and you see how far it is you say oh my goodness that's way out there and, and why am I still seeing the whole boat that's because it's again I don't have the light refracting uh, defracting and causing an issue with this video a matter of fact I don't even get any um, I don't even have any uh, uh, mirroring going on here. Plus, too, this this water's pretty rough out here, so to get a mirroring on this water is pretty tough. Um, on my coast, it's easier. Now, um, I do have a couple of uh, time lapse videos that I added in here, um, and they are as the sun gets, uh, uh, you know, farther away and it gets dark and the lights of the boat are on um, you'll see it I, I think you'll enjoy it um, seeing that the ship is out there plus two I brightened up the screen with the brightness uh, just so you wouldn't have to see it in the dark I tried to do this so you could actually still see the boat but in the original video it's pretty dark um, this is still the same um, I don't think I messed with it here um, but In the next part, I believe I did. Let me check this here. Um, oh, let me pause it. And yes, I did brighten up the screen. And here, here coming up here shortly is going to be a, a 10 second time lapse. Um, and I think this was a 10 minute um, city light time lapse that I did on the boat while it was out there. It'll be coming up here shortly. And here I did the same thing too. I brightened up the screen. Uh, just so that you could actually see the boat a little bit better. And it's obvious you can tell I brightened it up. So I, I'm hoping that you all enjoy this. Um, this was quite a long video for me to make. It's eat up uh, pretty much most of my day to sit here and try to go through it speed up some of the videos and you know shorten it up to where you know it was viewable other than that um, you know it was a lot a lot of work so I, I hope it was worth it and I hope I get some people to actually you know see uh, what's actually going on in the video and see what's going on out there your perspective may change on, on what you you know you usually think um, and I hope more and more people realize this. It's an 
alien shit. Shh, don't tell nobody. It's aliens, and if you look real close in the windows, you can see aliens in there. I just wanted to prove that that was that cruise ship. It's all lit up out there. It ain't a cruise ship, it's the casino. The casino ship I showed. Uh, a little bit of lights that you see is the shoreline. Um, I zoom back toward the shore, um, show you the lighting on the shoreline. Um, or, or this could be another uh, ship out there. There was a barge out there with a bunch of lights on it. I got three more 10 second time lapses coming up. One's of the casino ship and the other two are from the shoreline. Um, way out on as far out as I could zoom. So, I hope you get a little perspective of that. Hope you enjoy it. And here's a little music for you. Life of Illusion by Joe Walsh. I think you might find this very nice. Matches with the, our perception.
this second cruise ship here is from my second day um, being out at Cocoa Beach. Um, so I put both of them on here. Thought you'd enjoy seeing both of them. Um, again, this was a lot of work for me to do. Um, this next song is The Great Deception. Um, it's by P-S-O-G-N-A-R. Um, it's a non-copyrighted music. Um, I will put a link to it in the description. Alright, I hope you all enjoy this, and I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you for watching. Sure.